welcome to the kitchen. You're gonna love this recipe, it's my cinnamon buns. Now I made these for Simon's birthday because they're that good. So delicious, really easy to make, and we're gonna start off by doing our dough. So in here I've got my strong bread flour, that's going into my mixer. Yeast, this is quick yeast. Some cinnamon, of course, sugar. So that's all your dry ingredients there. Give it a little bit of a mix around. Warm milk, some lovely vanilla. Melted butter, two eggs. Oh, don't do that. Put shell in it like me. Now usually, what do I always say, Dan? I usually say... Doing a separate bowl. Doing a separate bowl, because sometimes you get shell in it. So just mix that together. Do you know what I really hate? When you eat an egg mayonnaise sandwich and there's a bit of shell in it, in goes the warm liquid into that bread flour. So if you're doing it by hand, just literally bring this together now with a spatula. But I'm using my mixer because I'm feeling sassy. And wait till I show you what it does. It's gonna prove it for me and everything. So, go. So I'm just doing that on slow to start with until all the flour's gone in. And then I'm gonna whack up the speed and knead it so it's lovely and springy. So now that's just come together as a dough. It still looks a bit shaggy at the moment, but as I knead that, it will become really springy and pliable. Right, so lovely springy dough. So if you've done that by hand, that's probably gonna take you up to 15 minutes because you need to give it a lot of welly. Now what we need to do is let it prove, if I can get my dough hook out, I want it, oh, there we go. It needs to double in size, so that depends on your room temperature. Um, if you're doing it in a bowl, just cover it with a damp cloth and leave it till it's kind of doubled in size, somewhere warm, like an airing cupboard if you've got one. This mixer has got a special feature. I'm gonna put its cover on. It's got a dough proving um, one. So the, the bowl's heating now to the perfect temperature. Right, here we go. So that's nice and puffy. It's doubled in size. I'm just going to shape it into a rectangle now, just roughly. If you need quite a bit of flour when you're rolling this out, you're going to get it quite thin. Bosh. So a little bit of flour on the top so my pin doesn't stick. Now I've got a rather large one, I know, but I need this to be about 24 inches by 12 to get the amount of buns that I need. Every so often I kind of like pull, pull out the corners like that and you can sort of stretch it about. That is 18 by nine, so quite a bit more to roll. So the next thing we need to do is get our cinnamon and sugar and butter onto this light muscovado sugar. Two tablespoons of cinnamon and some soft butter. Use a palette knife and spread it all over the dough. Spread it across in one even layer. There we go, so tuck in the dough like this. You wanna keep it quite tight so you get that really lovely amount of swirls in the, in the buns. Okay, so there we go, look at that. I'm gonna cut it into 12, so the best way to do that, what's half of 25? Slice it down. I've got a serrated knife, that's the easiest. I want them to be roughly the same size, or there'll be fights, won't there, for who gets the biggest bun? Check out my swirls. I'm gonna cut each one into three. Nine by 13 tray. Putting them in the tray, equally spaced with the swirl standing up. There you go, they're all ready there. Cover them with some cling film or whatever, a damp towel, and just leave these for about an hour until they've gone nice and poofy. And then we'll egg wash them, get them in the oven. So they've puffed up, now it's time to bake them. Before we do that, I'm just gonna brush over with some egg wash. How cool does that look as well with the spiral in there? And then just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of extra brown sugar, just randomly on the top. It's raining sugar. I'm ready to go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes till they're lovely and puffy and golden. The aroma of my buns is incredible. Oh, you've got to make these. Look at that, the way they unravel when you've got the lovely swirl inside, look. Mmm, I'm going to pour myself a lovely coffee and have that with that bun. Everything you need to make these is just down there. Enjoy, happy bun baking.